Well, Christmas came and went, but guess what? The holidays are still here. Indeed, and so is your biggest breakfast show. Wake up, Nigeria. <laughs> uh, there's certainly enough to look forward to today. Indeed. And uh, we're finally getting ready to open presents. Ah, Boxing Day after all. The Boxing Day. Yes. Mm, and of course, nice, the nice. best part of presents that you get to open is there is a whole three hours of Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> exciting times, I tell you. Exciting times. Speaking of presents, we have two presents for you in the kitchen. In fact, oh, they, wow. they look awesome. Two lovely ladies. Sorry. Wow. Okay, apologies. Apologies. <laughs> Not presents. But, but they are presents. I'm sorry. They? they are okay. presents. <laughs> How do you plan to unbox us? Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no, you're not unboxing. Yomi, they gave you wrapping. <laughs> Yomi has to go, oh, wow. my goodness. You're unwrapping. I'm like an onion. Uh, oh, wow. Onion, Pick me up, you know. You want us to cry? Out. Okay, so yeah, so it's uh, it's gonna be a, a chill day. It's a relaxed day, you know. It's time to spend with family and uh, and all of that. Probably even go out as well. And the roads are gonna be slightly free, hopefully. Yeah, no, mostly so, yeah. free. <laughs> I had an inmate to that one. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first, a good morning to you. My name is Yomi. Okay. And I am Mary Bashua Alimi. Stream us live at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Hmm. And also send in your comments uh, with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC and maybe hashtag Boxing Day or something. I don't know. That, no, Boxing Whatever's Day TVC mind. or do, Boxing Day. Uh, yeah, well, wake Up Nigeria TVC then hashtag Boxing Day. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's really complicated. But well, we, we hope you know that our app is available for download in any Android or iOS store to watch us on your mobile devices from absolutely anywhere in the world. Okay. Mm. All right. So uh, Boxing Day, uh, we, we have a lot for you today. Yeah, straight and, to the highlights. Uh, where do we start from? Hmm? Uh, so much to run by you this <laughs> morning. First, we have a couple of uh, kids, cute kids, uh, who are going to be uh, coming here uh, to have a beautiful festive message for you. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Christmas is the annual celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. It is celebrated every 25th. Mm. And then we bring you the beautiful story of a man who made a success of himself uh, in the midst of life's ups and downs. And then you should know that you have a lot of options when it comes to taking your children out to have fun. Uh, so we have an alternative for you coming later on the show. Mm -hmm. Then we move on to music, uh, which will be coming from singer and songwriter, uh, performer, stylist, uh, Merisi. In 180 seconds, we would like to bring you travel destinations to consider when uh, getting away. Hmm. And then, of course, uh, we have uh, Caleb Obuna, a multi-talented singer and multi-instrumentalist as well. And he will also be giving us a musical performance today. Voice that guy, and then we'll bring you our book of the week, Sambisa Crossroads, which was written by Chiedu Da. Smart Boy will be still in the spotlight with a musical performance in the course of the show. You'd like to see this one. I'm broke, baby. Loving you has begun. Yeah, so check it out. Uh, Hollywood actor Adewale Akinoe Agbaje was recently in Nigeria. And, uh, I caught up with him to get details of this new movie that came out uh, recently. Uh, for yet another musical act, KMK will be joining us today as well. Fine artist uh, Babalola Uluwafemi also called Art Amazing, who mixes uh, traditional art with urban art. Uh, he will be doing some body painting, body painting, believe it or not, on the show today. <laughs> and then the Bethesda School for the Blind will be joining us for some soul lifting music in the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. All right. So it's is this still uh, so I have a is it still okay to say Merry Christmas? Yeah. No, that's it. Just wait before you talk wow. about Merry Christmas. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. <laughs> Mary's back. You won't tell a friend. Uh, tell a love friend. <laughs> now we can say Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everybody. You've been on the radio. Merry Christmas. Everybody, everybody <laughs> knew you. Were, everybody mm. knew you were back. Boxing Day. I was supposed to be opening the gifts. Like, so are you, you opening me up? Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will welcome you. I welcome let's, myself. Let's open now. you up. Come on. How come do you remember? Oh, behind the scenes. Okay. Welcome, yeah. Mary. Welcome we missed you so much, but it was so peaceful without you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> so what presents did you guys get yesterday? What presents did you guys get? Uh, did you get well, anything? Oh yeah, so I got this little... Uh, okay, well, I can't tell you what I got. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit private. But I'm seeing boxes beside you guys. Uh, they're supposed to be open, yeah? That's what I thought. <laughs> I, I, it was, uh, what's her name that was Blessing? Yeah, Blessing. I spoke with her about the decorations and all of that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very full, very full. So I'll let you know when we, at the end of the show, open, I'll let you know what's inside. What was inside, inside the box? But what I'll did you get yourself, inside. Mike? Yeah. I'll let you know what's inside. What so what part of that was party after hey. party. Hey. You know what? The only young girls are Then in December. Hey. You guys are the only oh, young girls. Oh, oh, yes. We don't know about the rest of you. Mm. Oh, wow. Great. How's how's dirty December? How's it? Ah, that it was kids very dirty. Mm. No, oh, MM, so you don't know how I've been shaded, but I take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but then it's uh, time for us to take a look at what the weather is like. Very, quite, very dusty this period, but hey, come on, let's take a look at the weather. Kids put their messages out with love and would like for you to see it. Greetings we bring to you and your king. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Christmas is the annual celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. It is coming together and celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, which is mostly celebrated by decorating trees and setting up of trees. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive a King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Christmas is the time of the year when many Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Many children look forward to this day because of gift giving. It is celebrated to mark the birth of Jesus Christ. No one really knows when Jesus was born. The reason why we, the reason why we celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December because it was celebrated on the 25th of December first by an by a Roman emperor. The Catholic hymn book has um, songs based on the birth of Jesus Christ. Examples are the first Noel, Joy to the World, etc. My favorite, my favorite song is Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. And let receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Sin came into the world through one man, Adam. Salvation came into the world through one man, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. It is celebrated on the 25th of December every year. Christmas is a time where we give gifts, spend time with our friends and family, and feast on different types of food. 
children like Christmas because they get to see some of their family members they haven't seen in a long time. They get different gifts and go out to different places. I like Christmas because it's a time where I get to see many of my friends and family. Christ and men rejoice, we hide and told them voice. Give heed to what we say, Jesus Christ is born today. Christ is born today, hey, Christ is born today. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round you, virgin, mother and child, holy, infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake, at the sight, holy sweet from heaven afar, heavenly host sing alleluia. Christ your Savior is born, Christ our Savior is born. Ah, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> you said hi. What it's, you uh, said? It's, it's coffee. Uh, well, I mean, we're all in the kitchen this morning. And, you know, it's Boxing Day. And sometimes people just want to go out and chill. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you might not know where to go. So we want to give you a few things, depending on what you're interested in. Some people are interested in raves and yeah. parties, some concerts, some plays. So today, um, you might want to find out where uh, Queen Morimi is, is uh, showing. I think that's showing somewhere in Victoria Island, and that's like just 5K. So Sounds if you want to go for, if you want to go for that, uh, Mike did an interview yeah. with. Uh, we gave out tickets. Oh, we gave our so tickets to Queen Mary. Those of you that I gave yeah. tickets and you didn't go for the for the show, I didn't see me. Is it too late to go? I Come and return it. <laughs> it's not, it's not I think what's now. actually. Come I, think, and return I it. think it was just for one day, or for just that particular day. Okay, right? so it was 24. So for 24, uh, we had two performances. We had the second, which I was there. Uh, the second one had uh, the. Uh, the Oni yeah. and uh, the other uh, rulers and all of that. The first, it was a command performance. And the first one was where we gave our tickets, VVIP, and some people did not show. Oh. What, what, what I loved most about, or what I like most about um, the um, stage play, the musical basically, is the course, which is um, to end modern day slavery. Mm. And I think mm. it's very, very key that, you know, we came to, you know, some of this, um, events yeah. Yeah. you know there's it, there should always be a cause because there's so, there's so many issues happening around the world and especially here in nigeria so mm. i actually like the idea yeah, it, it's yeah. not it's not just about going to cinemas people mm. need to realize that stage plays are equally as exciting as uh, in fact most times more interesting mm. uh, than just sitting in a cinema watching um, stuff happening mm. it's it's really good stuff to go so watch yeah so, so that's a big one today and then uh, also uh, I think tomorrow, okay. w when is, uh, w I think, Wizkid or somebody is having a concert, I there think on the 27th. There's like a lineup of concerts. Yeah, so there's a lineup of, of a bunch of Whiskey concerts. Is today. Yesterday night was Burner Boy. Oh, yeah. 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 And then, uh, so Wizkid is 26th. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, a bunch of others till all the way wait till 31st. But here, I have something called the Calabash Concert. I don't know where that is taking place. Calabash Concert. Sounds like palm wine. <laughs> <laughs> Calabash Concert. So maybe they'll be playing Kegite songs or something. I don't know. But there's also Palm Wine Music Festival oh. on the 28th. Yes, yes, there's that. I'd there's like that. to go for that one. Yeah, Palm Wine. Well, you oh, can. Well, I, yeah, sure. I, I'd, palm yeah, wine. so that's on the 28th. And then on the same day, uh, the same 28th, you have your Eat Drink Festival. Mm. Eat Drink. Yeah, and that's just 1K to enter. So, oh, okay. all, uh, But you still have to pay eat. for the food now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> now. Uh, you know the way what the 1K sounded. <laughs> exactly. You're already picturing you're paying, all the food and then you're, you're going to eat. Spend money, so and then you're yeah. like, ah, that's just entry tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but most importantly, let's bear in mind, while we are having so much fun, you know, at, at some of these events, let's bear in mind that January is like six months in one it's month. One year in one <laughs> Six <laughs> months. I'll be one year, exactly. One year in one month. One year in one month. Every week is three months. I tell people, January is 93 days. Let's not get carried away. And guess what? December 30th, we have 
have a Malian first. Ooh. Oh, oh, it, yes. Yes. Malian. <laughs> okay, so um, no, you yeah, missed go to church. some concerts. Okay, I missed some yes, concerts. So okay. I have the Dirty December <laughs> menu. Concerts. What is that? Oh, yeah. Dirty it's December. Dirty December menu. <laughs> so today <laughs> is Kiss Daniel's live concert. Has, he, has, then, has, the, has he been given a go ahead by the courts? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Until, Will it happen? Okay. We'll still wait and see. And then on the 28th, Two Face also has a concert. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, so you okay. might want to you might want to save some money for that. Mm -hmm. Then on 29th, Future is live mm -hmm. in Lagos. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, okay. on the 30th Malian Fest. Hey, so I don't think it's to round up the year. It's to just close. Who's a know? Malian fan here? Who's Malian a, okay, sorry, who's a Malian here? To cut it out. Okay, so I have to make a... Are you a Malian? I have to make I'm a, a Malian, confession. No. You're a Malian. I, I don't know any... Um, you don't know any Malian? Naira Mali song. Oh, no, I don't. I don't either. Okay, no, I know okay. one. Like it's cool it's a say, goal. I don't know. Yeah, I remember that one. No, I didn't say it was cool. No, it's not cool. I don't. We know it's trending. But I know it's a go. That one for that's the, not. For, um, okay, was that him? Yes, that, that was him. Yes, okay. it was ah. him. It so he got um, a, a host of no, other it artists. A, it was a, It was for. Oh, okay, uh, but it was the main guy. But it was the main guy. So you don't know Okwatoi. Huh? Okwatoi. Okwatoi. Never mind. Okay. Oh, Okwatoi. <laughs> How does the song go? I show Okwatoi. Yeah. See, see, yeah, Malian's in the house. Are you a Malian? Oh. <laughs> I keep saying. The way you look at that Malian, that's in a, you know, we all, everybody insults him in the open. And yeah. And inside the house. And I feel like in private, yes, they are all his fans. That, that nonsense boy, I don't know what's wrong with that boy. So, <laughs> what's you just hear inside like? Hey. hey. You know what's funny? That's the song that's okay, inside okay, light. Like that's another song. You also sang home. that, yes, inside okay. light. Okay. Inside you know light. something funny about okay, this song, Naira Mali guy? Okay, I've heard that one. I, I dare say that the lack of interest started from that um, EFCC incident, which oh. unfortunately and ironically was what pushed him well, it, into limelight. Yeah. Yes. Which is, um, but since then I've just been it's like... It's funny how bad publicity actually I, could in, turn out to be good, you good. know, for your career. Mm. I mean, look at, you just flip the but, coin and but, then you become popular. But before then, you know, but dude was already very big. Yeah, well, he was big. No, he was. wasn't as big. Very. No, he wasn't as big. I didn't know Naira Mali uh, before he was young. Him, him. But so not the way they know the point is. The point is, the point is, dude had already dropped his hits and everything, very big ones. The big hits had already come. When was that? After they've never had any major hit. Oh, there, there's the hits had already been dropped. Well, the hits might have been dropped, but it was still not so, the sensation. Uh, anyway, we uh, we're going to come back to this argument later on. But yeah. <laughs> this man hustled his way uh, to success from a very young age. You want to take a look at this package, and we'll come back after. In any nation. SMEs are essential for an accelerated economic growth and they constitute almost 90% of the businesses in Nigeria. We learn from anything we are doing. We learn from two bakari. 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 We learn from two This is Idumota, one of the oldest and arguably one of the largest in West Africa. Come rain or shine, this market in the heart of Lagos Island remains alive with the hustle and bustle of trading activities. Alhaji Giwa is a business owner here whose journey started with a partnership with his brother decades ago. <laughs> It eventually became necessary for the two to run their individual businesses in order to meet their growing responsibilities at home. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
o ma nte gbe show bi almost 10 years you want to go grand nte gbe show so understand all of this is your great duty me so that from there mo alo le ko apade ni factory you got to wa mo ko se se ba se fun ba pele mi e mo se duty ni me fun la to se be mi abo mi a pe mi le ko pada pe a go mi tu se pada si e ko ni e o wa se se ta lo bi se ni mo e mi to ba mo mi dada lodi ni o ni bi se ma nde yi for him starting and growing this enterprise was simply a matter of survival a last and desperate one after he had lost his job and needed to make ends meet. So mo pese o gbere ni, igba mi o ni aba re ni, igba mi a ni ko ta ta fun o, igba mi a ni mo. Ko ma gbo so di igba ta ni wa leje omo de o. Igba mi ti mi ni o ba de pe, alaje ko ta ta fun o, ba ni no 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 no. Awa ko la ta fun o, ba ma meta mo ri. E mo mu gbe le si we pe o gbe je ni ti won ni ba ja o. Ati pe baba won soro. Ni to be in to be. In fact, ibi ta ba oro ja ide. Ibi ta le pa le pa de ara ti won pa de. Success Success came to Giwa with a lot of trials and errors, but his doggedness brought him this far and made his business into what can loosely be termed a family affair. Even from my childhood, uh, I've been working in Akara ever since. Ever since I started the studio, I've been really, really, really loved. And I'm so grateful for everything I've ever done in my life. This is my home crew, and we've been together for over 20 years, I've been 24 years rather. And he has taught me how to be very hard working in life. I got it from Unilag and I believe the sales and everything about this business has you know, helped me in life. But I know that this is where I am now. This is me. 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 But I think it's better now. This was an absolutely beautiful year when it comes to the kitchen. We had all sorts of things, traditional, uh, Asian, uh, European, American. We had it all here. Yeah, and thankfully uh, there was no disasters. <laughs> no kitchen disasters. No kitchen disaster. Well, not no, but the ones you didn't see. So yeah. I'm sure there were some that happened here behind the scenes. <laughs> the water pouring all we over the place. Well. Something catching on fire. But yeah. We, we did good, we did good. What did you think? You were in the kitchen a lot. Yeah, I was in the kitchen a lot, uh, mostly because uh, Madame M.M. decided to take a long break. <laughs> yeah, but she's that. back now, she's yes. back now. Anyway, so, um, uh, so not too long ago, we had this, you know, uh, this beautiful spread here. I think you were still away at the time, and it was really nice. You know, there were fruits and just healthy foods, healthy wow. breakfast options, wow. uh, Greek yogurt. Um, What's that other thing again? Uh, yeah, so was it parfait? so there was a parfait and then like a platter of fruits and veggies and Will you know, guys stop? Natural like, salads. I feel like you guys planned that this would Including the dressing. Right? Including the dressing was healthy. Everything including the dressing was healthy. I don't like and bananas, so yeah, so it was bananas. bananas and grapes and yeah, everything. Uh, okay. Oh, banana bread was 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 also there as well. Wow. With almonds, just everything you th you can think of, cashew nuts. It was so really, really why good. is Yomi doing this? Is my mouth supposed to be watering? No, because I'm just remembering and, and I promise that I would go to uh, that location. Is it possible for us to where, see it? Where she is. Well, they call her, they call her something light. That's her name. That, 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 that's no wonder. something light. Yeah. Okay, so since like I energy. missed this, can I experience it again? At least please, eat please, out let's experience it. Take, take a look at, at what happened. It was really uh -huh. nice, really, really exciting. Let, let's see, let's see. So tell me once again, tell us once again what you've put into these parfaits. 
Okay, as you can see, there are different types of parfait here. Mm. One was made with apples, grapes, kiwi, and then it was topped off with um, granulas and coconut shavings. Okay. And then this, which is my favorite, you know, there's a bit of passion fruit in it and passion mango. Fruit. I yes. want people to see the passion fruit in there. Okay, the oh side. my goodness. Now, passion yes. fruit is not something you've, is, that's readily available everywhere. So when you see it in a parfait, you know that, you know, it's, it's extra special. So what's, what's this yes. one? So these also have um, apples, grapes, and then kiwi, and then topped off with granulas and coconut shavings. Okay. This right here is made with just Greek yogurt and homemade jam. Homemade mulberry jam. Mulberry and strawberry jam. Oh yes. my God. Looking at this, it just looks, it looks evil. I want to say it looks wicked. <laughs> like, oh my God, it looks like such goodness. Um, so this looks like mango. Yes, and passion, passion fruit as well. And coconut. So yeah. um, for all the producers who are exclaiming about how beautiful this looks, this is mine. So just ignore this one at the back here. I've taken it. Don't worry. But all the producers <laughs> looking at me, just, I don't worry. Give me query. I don't mind. Um, then there's something else here. What's this? Okay, so this is uh, apple and cinnamon bread. You know, you can also have it as a dip with your yogurt. Mm. Yeah. You want me to dip bread inside yogurt? Oh, mm. best feeling ever. Wait, can you just like <laughs> shout out to something light? Something light. Jane Very nice. Francis here. Now she's been so hard at work. Welcome to the kitchen. Thank Welcome you. to the kitchen. Thank you. Um, now, uh, you need to tell us how you came about these parfaits as quickly as possible. Mm. And of course, uh, the salad. All right, mm. for the parfait, we use Greek yogurt and then we use apples, grapes, kiwi for this. For this, we use passion fruits, mangoes, Greek yogurt, and then it was topped with um, coconut right. shavings. So this is actually you know, okay, pretty so, healthy. Um, for our guest has to taste this. Please mm. bring the serving dish. So, um, oh, easy. Sorry. I'm not sure what part of it she would like to taste the most. So what do I what do the I green, the oh, green So part. you're going to serve. The green part. Right. The green I'm going to serve. You have really to special. serve it. Ooh, let me see if I can serve it well. So you wow. serve it in there like that. I hope I'm doing this the right way. Yes, you are. I am? Okay. And some eggs, maybe? Yeah. Some grapes, maybe? Wow, this is a um, full load. And then, of course, the chicken. So is there going to be some dressing for that? Or is this gonna... Where's the salad dressing? Here. Okay. So, so this you... is healthy salad dressing So as you well. drizzle oh, yes. the dressing. Would you like some dressing? Would you? Well, I will. <laughs> okay, I would so like let's to try. Give her some dressing. Woo! All okay. right, we'll have to do that very so, quickly. Yes, you need to have a quick taste. This and looks tell us what you really good. Tell us, let us know what you think. Mm. So healthy alternatives for this Christmas for you guys. So what do you think? Uh, the dressing is fantastic. The dressing is fantastic. Okay. I tell you. And, um, <laughs> taste the chicken. Taste the chicken. I'm interested in the chicken because of the George Foreman grill that you used. Let me oh, see. Right. Okay. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It has no oil. What happened? Yeah. So she's a grill. <laughs> we use the grill, and the grill is slanted, so all the oil kind of drains off, so none wow. is reabsorbed in the chicken. Right, yeah. right. So very the grill nice, slants nice. off. Well done, chef. So I'm just going to keep staring at the screen. I can't <laughs> believe I missed all that. I know, absolutely. I'm, just, I, was, I'm not looking was, at you. I'm angry. It was angry. really good, especially the yogurt. They make the yogurt themselves, and it's really thick. That's the Greek yogurt. I, I'm trying to find out how they do it, but it's really, really good, and it's very healthy. Wow. The banana bread also, totally healthy, no sugar. Is that the banana bread you've been raving about? Oh, yeah. The same one, right? No sugar, wow. really good, so and the, not expensive. The banana was used as a sweetener for it. So yeah, so the banana, the banana is the sweetener, and it has um, some fruits as well. I think wow. almonds and raisins or something like and that. And for folks like uh, Madame Fitz Farm, I'm sure it's... Something exactly, really exactly. Good. So that's the kind of thing you need uh, when you want like healthy alternatives for wow. breakfast and, uh, wow. and stuff like wow. that. Really good. Really, really good. nice. Ah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we talked about uh, where you can go as an adult, yes. uh, concerts and stuff uh, during uh, this holiday period. But there's also something for the kids. Yes, and this is something you would really find exciting, just like your children will. <laughs> Thank you for following us out and about in Lagos. Where do we find ourselves today? We're at the Palms Shopping Mall at a special place called the Bubbles Play Kingdom. Want to find out what this place is all about? Well, yeah, so do I. I hear it's a very safe and comfortable place for your kids to come hang out. Maybe if you want to go watch a movie or you need to do some shopping and you don't want your kids dragging your hand, Mommy, I want this. Mommy, I want that. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of place where you come drop them off so they can have their fun while you go do your thing. So let's go inside. Alright. Hello. Hi. Oh. <laughs> 
Follow me home. That guy looks scary. Is that your cousin? Is he your cousin? Yeah, maybe. But who's this guy? He looks really lonely in the corner. Ooh, that's a. Okay, all right. Let's get out of the jungle and into the jungle gym itself, people. Bubbles, 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 bubbles play kingdom. Okay, so. I know that it's about time for me to have some fun, but I want someone to take me around. I need to know more about this place just so that you can follow us along the journey. Hi, Ajoke. Hi. How's it going? It's fine. All right, so treat me like a kid. What's the first thing you would want me to do? You can sit on the merry-go-round, which goes round and round, round and, and round. round. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Are you sure this can carry me? Of course. It okay. Can. Okay, I'll try my best. Woo! Okay, done. So what's next? To the slide. To the slide. Yeah. Okay, show me where the slide is. This way. All right. Woohoo! Okay. All right. All right. I'm here finally. Okay. It's been a while. <laughs> How do kids do this all day, every day? Are you sure I'm not too old for this? No. Not too you sure? Very sure. All right, are you ready? Yes. Set. Yes. And go! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, okay, that was fun. That was actually very fun. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I have a feeling your kids are going to be here for a lot longer than you thought. So. All right, so now it's time for some more fun. Where? Where are you taking me? Are you okay? Where? The trampoline. The trampoline? Yeah, the trampoline. Okay, so I had a really complicated experience with the trampoline back in the day. And I think I need to combat that fear right now. You have to. Okay, all right. Okay, maybe I can, can I jump? Yes, yes! <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, but I have to say it is a lot of fun. Hey, okay, woo! After all that jumping, I'm thirsty. That's okay. Where can I get a drink? Yeah, you can get the So I can get a drink here? Yes. Okay, all right. So I guess I can get some food here as well. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, all right. So what sort of food can I get here? You can get chicken nuggets. Okay. You can get burger meal. You can get hot dog. Hmm, okay. We have a lot of lovely and tasty meals, affordable meals. For kids? Yes. All right then. So, hmm, I feel like some french fries. I feel like some chicken nuggets. And I need a drink. So, let me get the drink first, but maybe you could make the order for me. Where is she? Where did she go? Okay, she's right here. Hi. Hello. All right. Can I have a drink? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Do you want a cola? Thank you. 
Thank you very much. All right, so I, I want some french fries, some chicken nuggets, and anything else that's tasty. How long is that going to take? Five minutes? Fantastic. All right, my food is here. Oh, isn't that so cute? Yes. Mm. Chicken nuggets. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. All right then, so it's been a fun time at the Bubbles Play Kingdom right here at the Palms Shopping Mall. Now, I've had an experience as an adult. Imagine how much fun the kids will have with stuff like this. Where, yeah, I have a feeling they're going to be spending a lot of time here having loads of fun. I've had a blast and I have a feeling you have too. And this is where we've been out and about in Lagos. Okay, of course, uh, wonderful bubbles. That's somewhere that the kids can go to and you can have fun. Our first performance of the day is about to kick off. Mercy is a songwriter, stylist, and an Afro pop artist who's dropped four singles this year. Now she's about to bring our first music performance this morning. What are we doing this morning, Mercy? We're doing winner. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. I'll see Mercy and I'll place her for an opera singer or something. <laughs> like, I'm um, here. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you're Afro pop, right? Yeah, sure. Mm. Afro beats, Afro -beat. music, R and B. Starting you know? music, has it always been Afro beats? How how yeah. how was Yeah, how it's it, it has always been Afro beats music mm. and R and B soul music. That's just uh, how I could express myself. Yeah, and that's just me. That's mm. just messy. Mm, that's mercy. Yeah. All right, so um, four singles this year, two videos this year, 2019. It's been, uh, how, mm. 2019 in review, it's how has it been for you? Well, it's, it's not been easy. Mm. It's not been easy. Music is not an easy task. Mm. Yeah, I, I call I, it a task. Mm. It's not an easy task, but the consistency, you know, the passion dri just drives you. Mm. Trust me, it's not easy at all. Mm. All right, but then you are a winner, which is what you're performing sure. this morning. You're a winner. So uh, I dare say that uh, 2020 is going to be a much, um, yeah. you make it happen. It's, it's going to be yeah. better than 2020. Sure, is that album? Yes. Is there plans for an album coming up soon? Um, not anytime soon, mm. but an EP first. An EP first, yeah. right? Like yeah. How many tracks are we getting the EP? About seven or ten. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's album now. <laughs> Messi, that's album. All right, Messi, taking it away with Wina. Wonderful Wiener. way to get ready for 2020. Take yeah. it away, Messi. All right. You will always make me a winner. I want to win, never to lose. I might have lost once before, but not anymore. I'm a winner, winner, not a loser. But let them talk about about me. I want to win, never to lose. I might have lost once before. Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's the festive season and we are having a really good time. Yes, we are. Now it's uh, hard not to relax when there's so much food around. But take it easy, please, you know, because, you know, yeah. you still have all, all of January and you might find yourself trying to lose all that weight. And you'd also have to deal with the 93 days in January. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, on Wake Up Nigeria, we have enough of those. There's no doubt about it. So tell us, uh, what are your plans for the rest of the holiday? Mm. Indeed, the rest of the year, in fact. Yeah, <laughs> we, we gave you like some ideas know. earlier for yourself and for the kids. But anyway, it's Boxing Day. So uh, the presents, uh, you can start opening them, I think. Uh, have you opened yours? There are some who open on, on Christmas Day, actually. Yeah. In the morning on Christmas yes, Day, you Christmas just you know, go downstairs and uh, pick out what's, uh, if you have, that's if you have gifts, but yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it's exciting. Yeah, it is. My name is Yomi Ope. And I am Mary. Bashwa Alimi. Watch us via live streaming at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook, of course, at CVC Connect. Well, so you can send in your comments across the social media platforms, both on uh, the Android and uh, your, your iOS uh, device as well. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Indeed. And don't forget, we have an app available for download at both Android and iOS stores. Now, this app allows you to watch us from absolutely anywhere in the world. Mm. You should get it. All right, so we've got uh, something special that's going to be happening. Uh, in the, it, we talked about something that was happening in the kitchen yes, earlier. Yes, the parfait around. the other day. The parfait I guess we'll and probably all of that. have stuff like that happening again. Yeah, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll break some eggs later on as well. Add that to it. Well, so that, you know, to make it a full breakfast. It's always fun to see you cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so straight to uh, the rest of what we've got for you. Indeed, today in on the show. 180 seconds, we would like to bring you travel destinations to consider when getting away. Welcome to another wonderful edition of 180 seconds. Today, we'll be visiting Barabara. Bara. Also, we've got uh, Kele Bogbonna, who's a talented singer, multi-instrumentalist, and uh, he's going to be giving us a musical performance today. And then, of course, we bring you our book of the week, Sambisa Crossroads, which was written by Chie Duding. And then Smack B will be stealing the spotlight with a musical performance. I'm broke, baby. Loving you has and then, of course, a Hollywood actor, Adewale Akinoye Agbaje, was recently in Nigeria, and Yomi caught up with him for a sit down. A details of that to come later on the show. I still can't tell who is the actor. Both of you so, look um, so movies, dapper. I mean, movie series, 25 years uh, and more, <laughs> and it's been absolutely amazing for you. That's been a great journey for you. Right. And for yet another musical performance, uh, KMK will be joining us. Looking forward to seeing the fine artist Baba Lola Olua Femi, also called Art Amazing, uh, who mixes traditional arts with urban art. He will be doing some body painting on the show today. You can see Tokwe his body being painted. <laughs> Why is she looking half scared? Oh boy. <laughs> and then sometimes laughing. <laughs> They're painting her body and then she's been she's <laughs> she Instagramming, her phone, I'm she's telling Instagramming you. the experience. <laughs> and then the Bethesda School for the Blind will be joining us for uh, some soul lifting music. <laughs> so there's right. something uh, something called the uh, bucket lists, yeah. you know, when when you have like things that you'd like to do before to do, a certain yeah. age. So yeah. I'd like to do this before I'm 30, or I'd like to do this before I'm 40. Mm. So maybe body painting was your own, one of the things on your bucket <laughs> list. But it, do, it do you guys was? have anything on your bucket list? Maybe you want to visit a particular country? Yeah. I'd like to skydive before I'm 90. Wow. So yeah, I want to wait that that's, that's, that's far. Then you will not go. You will wrong. skydive at, at some point. I know. Point. I know. <laughs> you get to a like certain age and you will watching yourself can be scary. I'm telling you. I don't know if you saw. It's amazing. Yeah. I don't I know if you saw. I haven't skydived yet. Yeah. But I went on a roller coaster in London, yeah, at um, Wild Water Park. And it was crazy so the, the roller coaster takes you all the way up you know normally it just takes you up and brings you down yeah. so it takes you up and then it shakes you oh yeah, yeah. so there's, oh. there's, there's some of those wild ones yes. they, they make some really there's one at brighton that is so scary hmm. like i wonder why we People pay to, to do, do that to it's like you are scared. paying for <laughs> your death yeah okay, but that's so, just a roller coaster that oh. can be on your bucket list well yeah. true well, well, depends is on depends. my bucket list and i want depends. to go for i want to go parting at ibiza next year like i must <laughs> Can you imagine? Next. It's expensive. See, people, people have already. <laughs> Visa is an expensive yeah, place. But people have already set and up. Somewhere that I, I would have... like to go to after I have like 10 houses. Oh, wow. Uh, like, uh, you know, 20 businesses. Uh, uh, you know, that kind of money. Because mm. yeah. okay. yeah. that place. I want to visit like historical, like. Um, so serious. Historical sites, like all these heritage sites, like 
um, mm. the Pharaoh's tombs, uh, oh. uh, or That's the, wow. the Roman, like all those Roman coliseums and, and like the pyramid. Like that. yeah. So you go to the pyramids, like to go to so. the coliseum, you know, and things like that. So different locations around the world, uh, Taj Mahal, just mm. all those places. <laughs> yum, wow. Yum. Wow. Well, incidentally, I was actually having that conversation with my husband a few weeks ago that. That's one of the things I'd like to do. Go to all of those tourist sites and just, you know, mm. have fun. Know. Some, some of them can Where be dangerous. Some of them can some be them, dangerous. Yeah. From Remember my lips to God's ear. Um, Amen. <laughs> we'll start with, very easy. You see, when you do something, he that says leads to his faith in much. Yeah. We'll start with uh, Ulumo, Ulumo Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Say Ulumo. Yeah, Ulumo. <laughs> then from there, we'll go to, uh, where's this now? Ijesha. Uh, you understand? Um, uh, where's this now? Um, Where's the spring the, now? Kogosi. Um, Kogosi. So you see, my point is, yeah. you see, charity begins at home. Oh, please. You start in your local. If you've not <laughs> gone, you've not gone to Obudu. You want to now go to Taj Mahal. It's, it's more small. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean, I'm saying. No. So I will visit Obudu very soon. So like, I'm going to see like, the ginger. Uh, we can go to. Uh, uh, but have you ever climbed a mountain top? Like, have you climbed a mountain before? <laughs> Many so now. It depends like, on the area. Like really. a, no, 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 like a, like a mountain mountain. Like a real mountain. You know those places? Have you gone to Obawale? All those places that's from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like this. I'm serious. Where's Obawale? 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 Where's so I actually like took I saw different kinds of rocks. Mm. I picked them. I was so excited to show my geography teacher then. It was Aww. such it was such an okay, experience. So, okay, I love it. If you were still in primary it. school and secondary school, it was probably a hill. <laughs> that you no, 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 no. It wasn't in Lagos. <laughs> okay, it wasn't in Lagos. It was in Abelkuta. And uh, he is there now. <laughs> it was you a proper mountain, be serious. Like I'm no, serious. I'm no. okay, because so, okay. by the time so I got to the mountain, mountain top, my legs were like literally shaking. Mm. Mm. Like I can't remember how many breaks we took. Wow. And okay. then we're still young and yes, vibrant. Nah. That's mm. what I'm saying. That's when you're young. Uh, yeah. hey, you see, that's why like, you're the <laughs> one that's tackling we somebody else now. When I was saying that, <laughs> we're young. You but you see why I said I'm the young. You see where all of them want to go. I see where me, I want to go. I want to go party. You know, no, you want no, to go no, his no, no, no. like us. Do get, Let's go. As in, don't oh, worry, Mike, take it away. Right, yeah. But of course, I will we have to, to check out. the two of you from <laughs> the We need to out. have a wedding already so they can be officially old. Yeah. We'll take we'll take out we'll take a look at the weather today. And of course, after that, we have another performance coming right up for you.
on to Wake Up Nigeria and you're about to perform our second performance today on the show with Caleb Obunaya. He's a 100-level student of architecture who also happens to be a gospel artist. The talented singer also plays the saxophone and is an excellent songwriter. Hello, Caleb. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Yeah. All right, so you're very cool, calm, collected. I'm liking your your it's your energy is very 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 calm. Oh, thank you very I'm much. I'm loving it. So thank you've been you. doing this for ele since you've been 11. 11, 11 How's years it old. been? Yeah, um, I, I discovered the passion when I was 11. I would I would sing to background songs or movies. We would watch when we were young, when we were still children. Okay. After the song, I would go to my room and then use the theme song to write my own song and then I'll sing it to my family. Okay, so yeah. I'm curious, I want to know what's your plan, you know, as, as a singer? Because, you, you, you know, you're still trying to get that big break, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. How, what's, what's your plan in the nearest future? Yeah, my plan, before my father passed away, he told me that my voice was, is going to be heard across nations. So oh, I'm, I'm always working towards that and trying to achieve that goal and, you know, get my voice to be heard across nations because I believe that I, I'm, I'm talented and I have what it takes to get me there. Do you see yourself, yeah. you know, doing any future collaborations? Yeah, I, I definitely see myself doing collaborations. With with maybe Travis Green, of oh, course. Oh, nice. I'm loving Tim you. Godfrey, Nathaniel You're Bassi. Nice. Those are my mentors. Oh, fantastic. Great. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to let you go ahead and perform to your song. Okay, thanks. Everything that life could give you raise the dead and heal the sick. What on earth can you not give? For you are God, your God alone. Deliver the power from men to strong. Ah, so performance. great Thank job you. by Caleb there. Yeah, Very nice. Fantastic. I love his voice. Um, has this strong this voice that carries um, across strong. Also reminiscent of uh, John Legend. Quite like John Legend, in mm. fact. And talking about uh, across the world, especially, uh, you know, Christmas season, tickets, prices go up. Oh, my goodness. And More then, than, uh, sometimes up to threefold. Three times, four mm -hmm. times. I heard um, tickets to, to the UK um, return are going as high as 900,000 now, 900,000, 1 million, uh, from about 300,000. So oh, wow. that's. 300%. Yeah, so in most cases, it's not usually a good idea to travel <laughs> in December mm -hmm. uh, unless you absolutely have to. Because, you know, you know people want to reunite with their loved ones. Exactly, and all. exactly. Uh, but January, the prices drop, bam. <laughs> so it might be a good idea for you to consider traveling in January. Hmm. And I know for sure we yeah, have Depending a on where you're going. It, well, it depends. Going, yeah. It depends. Uh, there are places to travel. You can take a staycation. Just go to a hotel nearby. <laughs> <laughs> or you decide to take a proper, proper vacation. Uh, whichever one you choose, though, we have a suggestion for you. You should take a look at this one. Hello and welcome to another wonderful edition of 180 Seconds. Today we'll be visiting Bora Bora. Bora Bora is an island in the Pacific Ocean and a major international tourist destination famous for this aquacentric luxury resort. The major settlement, Vaitap, is on the western side of the main island opposite the main channel into the lagoon. Barbara has roughly a population of over 10,000 people. The island is located in the French Polynesia and it is the overseas territory of France. Its original name is actually Parapara, the letter B doesn't even exist in the local language and it means firstborn. It is located about 160 miles northwest of Tahiti and around 2,600 miles south of Hawaii. The most spoken language is French, while in some touristic places, you can speak English. Barbara has an incredible variety of marine life. It is claimed that there are nearly 500 different species of fish swimming around the islands. Deep sea fishing is a popular attraction on Bora Bora. Fishing trips usually yield marlin, yellowfin tuna, sailfish, wahoo, and mahi-mahi in great size and numbers. 
Apart from that, most visitors enjoy an awesome time in the waters going jet skiing, snorkeling, wakeboarding and so many more. Oh my god, this is my favorite. The main food of Bora Bora Island is fish. This island is excellent in local cuisine where French style dishes mend with the island's natural source of delicious fish and juicy fruit. Now fish is often marinated into coconut milk before it is baked or grilled. Poison cru is a very popular dish. Oh, that consists of raw fish marinated in lime juice that is often served in a salad. Many dishes also include sushi, bora bora pearl, foie gras, mahi mahi dish, and so many more finger licking dishes. You cannot visit Bora Bora without going to some specific places like the renowned juice processing factory, the Marai Temple, Tiki Bar, Point Venus and Lighthouse Museum Tahiti, and Ha Island. So, I hope you've enjoyed this ride and until next time, keep seeing the world in 180 seconds. Now, our book of the week is Sambisa Crossroads. That's this book I have in my hand here. And it's written by Chiedu Chidie. He's a writer, speaker, and entrepreneur, and currently presides over a non-governmental organization called Reach the Community Initiative. And he's joining us this morning to talk about this book. Good to have you join us, sir. Thank you very much. All right, so um, right. Sambisa Crossroads, very interesting uh, title that you have. We've heard of Sambisa Forest, but this looks like a crossroad, and like a, you know, sort of like a, a metaphor for, for a lot of things. Uh, but you started uh, this uh, on the cover with a quote from the former president of France. Terrorism has become a systemic war that knows no borders, nor seldom has a face. Is this the same for terrorism in, in our country and the reason why you wrote this book? Well, uh, the truth is, if we look at um, the outbreak of Boko Haram in Nigeria, which started sketchily in 2009, mm. um, we never really knew that it was going to project the nation uh, uh, the way it actually, you know, with the ensuing uh, years. Mm. Now, the truth is, Nobody would be able to tell that this was the extent to which terrorism would break out in Nigeria. Mm. But the truth still stands that terrorism is actually faceless mm. because you don't know the people that you are going out for. Mm. You don't know uh, the people who are masterminding. And, and so at the end of the day, it brings some level of um, crossroads, some level of dilemma, mm. okay, in the way our government choose to you know, address the issue of terrorism. So in a great extent, I think terrorism is actually faceless. Faceless. Now, now let's, let's talk about the book itself because, I mean, this, uh, this is, a, is a literary work. So yeah. obviously, uh, it's a mixture of you know, what's happening in our environment, what we're seeing, and also some fiction as well. So tell us, uh, just to, of course briefly, without going into details, uh, the, the story in the book itself talks about ladies who were, who were kidnapped. But yes. you also yes. started in, 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 in a way where you talked about soldiers that, that were also abducted. So it's, it's almost like telling different stories, but weaving them into one, right? Yeah. Now, the truth is this. Um, the story is actually about, um, it's set against the backdrop of the event that took place in February, in, in April 14th, 2014. Mm. Now, two 76 girls were actually kidnapped, okay? And out of those two 76 girls who were kidnapped, um, one of the uh, militants seemed to have a romantic attraction to one of them. And so, as a result of this romantic attraction, it yeah, actually led into certain complications mm. that helped to girls to escape. Now, in as much as the fact that this is pure fiction, mm. 
I have to state that very clearly. There are also certain political elements, mm. okay, that the novel tries to project. And so when we look at the aspect where soldiers were captured, it also goes to tell you that the Boko Haram definitely are not really trying to target a particular group of people, mm. okay? We have soldiers who have been taken, uh, who have been abducted. I think if you look at the news recently, I think yeah. there was a, a, a case where a soldier, some soldiers were actually abducted and they were actually beheaded. Mm. Now, several things have been happening. Not only the girls who have been are captured, soldiers are captured, churches, mocks are being burned. So you see that beyond just, you know, in the, a group of people, no, we can't actually say who the main victims are. Yeah, very okay. true. Now, we're talking about this as, as a literary work, you know, um, because it's, this is something that is happening before our very eyes. Yeah. Uh, typically, when you say literary work, it's usually historical, you know, you're referring to something that happened in the recent past, maybe 10, 20, or you write something about the Biafra War, yeah. you know, things like that. But here we are, we're, we're still living in the midst of it. These girls are still missing. But, you know, this story comes out and it sort of refreshes everybody's memory about what happened uh, just in the recent past. Yeah. And uh, are you also trying to tell us not to forget the girls that are still missing? The truth is literature is a mirror of society. Hmm. Now, when you look into the mirror, what do you see? You don't only see the good side, you also see the bad side. You see everything. It hmm. shows you everything about society. And it's beyond just going back to history. We have to look at the contemporary issues that are facing us. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, we cannot deny the fact that what happened has left a kind of a scar in the memory of every Nigerian. And truth be told is that a lot of girls, secondary school girls, who never knew what even happened. Mm -hmm. I think Sambisa Crossroad is something that will take us back to always remember that this is where we are coming from. Because I believe that Nigeria is still going to a place. I believe that in spite of the political instability and all the evils we have been experiencing, I believe that there is actually a, a consolation for us at the end of the day. So that wow, is it. Wow, wow. Yeah. Now this is a really good book and I feel like, you know, um, taking us back, you know, just a few years to remember what happened also brings uh, to bear that, you know, these girls are still missing and uh, we should never forget. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much for, for writing this book. And uh, hopefully much. Uh, people can also find it as well. Uh, Sambisa Crossroads is the title of the book. And uh, how do I find it if, if I need it? Yeah, you can go on Jumia. Okay. Jumia, go, Konga, go to also on Conga. It's also on Okada Books. Yeah, Okada Books yes, as well. Go to Okada so Books, you can, you can get it. it find yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great read. I haven't read. finished reading it, but it's a great read. And also many action sequences, a lot of tension, yeah. uh, suspense as well. And let me even quickly add, let me quickly add the fact that I believe that we need to begin to introduce a political thrillers mm. in our own literary world in Africa. Mm. I found that the reason why many authors don't go into this dimension is because probably as a result of fear yeah. and the sensitivities of the issues. So exactly, I exactly. I, I, I thought it was bold for you to, yeah. to write it because again, it's a contemporary issue, yeah. the, what's happening uh, to us right now. But thank you so much uh, for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. All right, we're heading over to another performance for you this morning. This time is from Smack B. Thank you so much, Yomi. With me this morning, we have Sheba Makbi. Now, she's better known as Smakbi. She's a Netherland-born Nigerian recording artist. Now, let's have a short chat with her so she'll tell us more about her music and how I just got back. Because I see you are half Nigerian, half abroad. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, yeah. Smakbi. I love the way you look, you know. Thank you. We cannot tell if you're giving us rap or if you're giving us the cool vibes. <laughs> what are you performing for us this morning? I'll be doing Eligible. Eligible, yeah. okay, tell us a bit about Eligible. Yeah, it's actually a slow song and it's all about a heartbreak. Heartbreak, yeah. hey, who is uh, he? <laughs> who did it to us? Uh, it's more of a fictional song because it's, oh, okay. it's not it's a not personal real. experience, okay. yeah. Okay, We've calm down, okay. Oh, okay, so now what inspired Eligible? Considering you said it's fictional. Yeah, there's this project I'm working on. So they were like, they needed that kind of song for the project. So that was, and now I had to start thinking, what am I going to do? I listened to some kind of songs like Adele, Adele yeah, yeah. stuff like that. So it like, gave okay. you the inspiration. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? We're going to make sure our guests long for Loving this. You has become
see, nobody has broken my heart, but I'm sad. What kind of life is this? I want me to believe that nobody did Seriously, anything. Yeah. <laughs> Sister Smack B, is there something you want to tell us? No, I'm serious. So this song was not inspired by anyone no, at it all. Wasn't by, no, it wasn't you know what? You no. owe us something. Yeah. As in, I say, come back from this heartbreak. You need to bring come back with a joyous love song. So that right. I know that there's love somewhere. But that, that was really deep. And the, Thank lyrics, you very much. the lyrics really drew me in. But for it to not come from a place of hurt, that yeah. must have been a lot of work. Yes. Thank you so much. I Thank mean, you very that, that, much. Was, that, that really took me in. I'm sure we all enjoyed um, Eligible from Smack yeah. B. You could follow her on social media and download the song. And if you know you feel heartbroken, don't download it. All. I, didn't, I didn't send you. Thank you. Okay, man. thank you so much. So recently, Yomi had a chat with. Um, um, Akiloye Adewale and Agbaje, Akiloye Adewale Agbaje, and he shared um, the journey on farming. Now, if you watch the video, you see Yomi looking like he was the lead actor in the film, but of course, it was not about him. Let's see how the conversation went. All right, so Adewale, Akiloye Agbaje, great to finally meet you. It's nice to meet you, man. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome back home. To Thank Nigeria. you. Uh, Thank when you. was the last time you were here? Uh, I snuck in about 18 months ago, you okay. know, in the back door. So, right, right, right. you know, I wasn't on the big stage. Low yeah, low-key, family, friends. Wow. So, um, movies, I mean, movie series, 25 years uh, and more. <laughs> and it's been absolutely amazing for you. That's been a great journey for you, right? Yes, yeah. I mean, I've been able to traverse both TV and film and, and, and genres. You know, one of the few actors that's able to do both Marvel and DC and... Mm -hmm you know, to still do dramas and comedies and action. And so I've had a wonderful time. Yeah, but this is a big one for you, mm. uh, Farming. Congratulations. Mm. Thank uh, you. Your directorial debut and mm. everything else. Financial Times called this um, riveting. They also said it's raw. Mm. Was this on purpose for you? Because I know this is also a very personal story. To be riveting and raw, absolutely. I mean, it, it, you know, I'm depicting a time in, in Britain um, which is uh, the, actually from the 60s, 70s through the 80s, but the film, farming, is, uh, you know, farming was a term that was used by British social workers to describe uh, a phenomenon that occurred in Britain throughout the 60s and 90s, uh, whereby the Nigerian immigrants coming to Britain would foster or farm their children out to white working class families en masse, thousands and thousands all over Britain. Uh, in order so that they could work, study and save. And the idea was that once they'd accomplished what they set out to do, they would then collect their children and return back to Nigeria. That was the plan. Uh, but however, with every plan, you know, there's the vicissitudes of life that fall in. And farming follows my personal journey. I was farmed at six weeks old to a, a couple in the southeast of England in an area known as Tilbury. And at that time, there was a huge backlash against the immigrant influx. Uh, that manifested in uh, uh, gang and, and skinhead subcultures on the street. So I was subjected to acute racial attacks, both emotionally and, and physically, growing up as a young black Nigerian child in Britain. So it was important for me to depict a Britain that was realistic uh, for a young black man growing up there. Uh, you know, many people internationally see Britain represented through the monarchy or the Beatles or James Bond. But here was a perspective from a young black uh, Nigerian's point of view of what it was like to grow up. And it was important to be honest about that. Yeah, and then find out and discover what uh, Nigerian families were actually going through in the 60s and in the, uh, in the 70s. What do you think the reaction is going to be? Well, there's a large proportion that already uh, are aware of the phenomenon because, you know, they're the ones that started it. But, you know, we've, I've screened the film uh, a lot in, in the UK and with Nigerian audiences and probably one of the most rewarding uh, things to come out of the film is, is how they've embraced it um, and how the film has become a form of collective therapy for all those that went through the practice, both the children and the, and the parents. Um, you know, uh, th th there were secret traumas that were carried by many of the children into their adulthood, and the film has provided a platform for dialogue and, uh, you know, with families and the healing, um, and it, which is which is important, and, and that was one of my intentions. Um, you know, our culture, we, you know, we don't readily air our dirty laundry in public, but this is a case of uh, it's it's a healthy thing to do for us as, as a people so that we can learn from our child rearing 
practices. And, um, you know, so that in the future, we, we know that we don't have to make those same pitfalls because there were lots of errors that were made. There were no checks and balances uh, in place where these children were placed. There was no real research as to where you were placing them, you know, whether there were good areas for, for black people to be or, or bad areas. So it, it's, it's a way for us as a culture and a people to reevaluate how we raise our children. And also the, the, the film really begs is what we were searching for worth what we were giving up? Mm. Which is, you know, that love connection between the parents. Because as I said, I was there at six weeks old and yeah. you form a bond with your foster parents over and above that with your, your biological parents. And in many cases, that's what happened. Yeah. And in some, you know, in the house that I was in, um, you know, we had 10 or so Nigerian children at a time, 50 go through that household throughout the parents' lifetime. Wow. And some of the Nigerian parents never returned for the children. So they literally left and abandoned them and started a new life. So this is a way for us to really reevaluate how we, you know, raise our, our own offspring and to evaluate our um, aspirations. What's really the most important? Is it an education and a foothold in an economic base or is it love and, and uh, a harmonious family? That's deep. That's deep. Anyway, so uh, directorial debut, what's it like uh, sitting in the boss's chair, controlling everything, <laughs> uh, everything that's happening on the set? Everybody wants to be the boss, but it is <laughs> yeah. very, very stressful. And particularly for a film like Farming, which is obviously biographical, uh, I, I not only wrote it, I directed it, I starred in it, and I did the, the, all the music oh, wow. in, in it as well. So in the process, I could never just go back to simply acting. I will always you know, make films as well as acts. So. That, that, that's amazing. Uh, the, the, uh, what was going through your mind when you were thinking about who to work with, especially with the actresses mm -hmm. and the actors mm -hmm. that were on the, on, the, on the project, especially, of course, um, Nigeria's Genevieve mm -hmm. and Aji and Kate Beckinsale and yeah. the rest of them? You know, I just wanted the best actresses for the part. And obviously what helped me is the fact that I knew the people that they were portraying intimately. It was important for me to find an actress that had natural charisma of a star mm. and the gravitas that could seat her within that world and, and I'd seen work of Kate's and, and and that resonated for me I could see she could do that and you know it was important for me also to have an authentic Nigerian actress play you know the Nigerian mother mm. and uh, you know I've watched Genevieve's work for many years and uh, and an admirer of it and she's such a talented actress so it was important for me to serve as a bridge between Hollywood and Nollywood mm. and, and bring her on a bigger platform and, and, and that worked out and she's phenomenal in it and um, I, I hope I can do more of those alliances. Uh, we hope so too. Uh, you used to speak Yoruba. Uh, dear, dear, no. Dear, dear. Mm. <laughs> anyway. That's KMK. KMK. <laughs> ah. Fantastic, fantastic. Nah, that's, wow. a, that's a really nice song. That's a, that's, wow. a, that's, a, that's a nice song to take into 2020. I'm telling you, all As that a champion. energy, you're a champion. And I'm about to do my own champion dance. Uh, okay, wait, let me just... No, 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 you should do it. No, no. No, you should do it. You started it. Anyway, <laughs> who had an amazing Christmas? Uh, we did. I know for sure I yeah, did. Yeah, I did, I did. And it we was, are looking really forward good. to having a... Boxing Day, that is even better. It's only just started, mm -hmm. just a few minutes past nine after, uh, yeah. after a, a few minutes past eight after all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for make, uh, being a part of Wake Up Nigeria uh, this morning. I, I know you could have been sleeping. But, Indeed, we mm. always appreciate that. Have you gotten around to opening your presents? Share with us. Yeah, I mean that everybody got, got a present, Mary. Uh, everybody has a present. 
Mm. Do you want us to go philosophical? The gift of life. Oh, the gift of life. Have you opened your yes. gift of life yet? Yes, you open your eyes. Unlock it. This morning. <laughs> See? <laughs> but we would really like to know what you got for Christmas, if at all. Uh, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. My name is Mary Bashua Alimi. And I'm Yomi Ope. You uh, can stream with us live if you have to be out of the house. Yeah. And uh, we're also on Facebook. Uh, but you know, our website is tvcentertainment.tv. Check us out at TVC Connect on Facebook. That's, that's right. So you're sending your comments. We would really like to hear from you. Kindly use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Mm. And of course, if you want to wish somebody a happy Boxing Day or whatever, just yeah, use the hashtag as well. And we might just read it online. Now, if you haven't yet, you should download both uh, on the Android and iOS store, our app, yeah. which allows you to watch us anywhere you are. That's right. Well, we'll move straight to the highlights, let you know what's left uh, in this last 45 minutes run. Mm. Uh, still to come is a musical performance from the Upper Room Choir. I like Promises that. To be amazing. The, upper room, the Upper Room is where the... Yeah, anyway. And then uh, we have uh, visual arts coming up with uh, Babalola Uluwafemi, who is a fine artist. And uh, he paints bodies, believe it or not. Yeah, he's mm. a body painter. I wonder what kind of paint that is and if it comes off. And then we'll have the very talented students of Bethesda Home for the Blind also bringing some soul lifting music for us. We didn't mm. have time to talk about the movies. So, which of those movies would you guys want to see this? Uh, Jumanji. Henry Jumanji. Golding. <laughs> Jumanji. Jumanji. Oh, okay. Which one do you want to see? Golding and Emilia Clarke. Oh. oh. yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that, that, last that Christmas. I feel like that movie is a, it's corny. It's just like <laughs> all the, the other Christmas, Christmas movies. Thing. Yeah. Everybody's Christmas it's now. Christmas. It's Christmas. So, what do you expect? Christmas. Christmas now. Well, yeah, there's always this, there's horror. this love. There's this Does horror not happen? Christmas that has love and warmth. Love month, yeah, month, very true. Yeah, so I, I love the way the story is already looking. Plus, remember Harry Golding from Crazy from Rich Crazy Asians? Rich Asians. So you can only imagine that tall glass of goodness. Mm. Okay, the so the thing is, in 2020, I just want to have a lot of excitement. So I would rather like a thriller. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. Uh, Jumanji. Yes, Jumanji. You know, something, something to, to make, make my adrenaline pump. Yeah, Ginger. Like, you know, I, think like like is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I've, I don't know if you see, you've all have seen Living in Bondage, right? Yeah. Yes. No, still, yeah. I have not. You've not seen it. I have you not. One three like I live in Bondage and I have not. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> I actually <laughs> went to the movies um, mm. sometime this week. Uh, yeah, that was two days ago, and unfortunately, I was well. I was supposed to hang out with a friend, and she came late, so I didn't get to see the movie. Oh. So I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, Living in Bondage. So I, I saw that the premiere. It was very late. I feel small. Can you maybe remember the old? <laughs> I will like. I was afraid. I was afraid as well. <laughs> so they, 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 uh, see, forget. Ah, I, 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 that movie. It be cliche. Ah. I don't, I don't hype Hollywood, uh, Hollywood movies. But for yeah. this one, so I don't know whether it's nostalgia. Mm. Mm. It could be. Yeah. So let me and be very objective. Yeah. It could be nostalgia, but so, man, so maybe when you watch it the second me. time. Yeah. So I was then. seen. I know how I used to be scared when I see Merritt's ghost, <laughs> and then uh, I was not seeing. I'm not entering crosses. Ah, in this okay. one, I, I look at it at the time. It's twelve o'clock. I want to drive my past ten minutes. I'm ready. So there was you know, no ghost doing so, some so crazy so what, moves. Yeah, yeah, so I don't. I said like, like I said, maybe probably it's nostalgia because yeah. seeing that oh, same. It was me for Lion King. If you yeah. seen Lion King for the first time, yeah, seen it seemed King. yeah, it would seem very normal. Yeah. But, but if I, I was seeing the movie, I was thinking about the cartoon. Like it felt like my body was living there. Like, really? Ah, <laughs> what? So it was nostalgia. Yeah, the, the, so maybe. same thing happened with me for Lion King because I watched it twice. I watched mm. it by myself the first time. Mm. But then I had to make a promise to the kids to take them. So I pretended like I hadn't watched it the first time. So you can imagine. Yeah, but it was it was really it was nostalgia good. for it you, was man. Really good. Ah. All the voices. Are they really I, I, I love the. Because I watch a lot of Nigel Wild stuff. So excellent. I feel man. like it's good. Yeah. Like when they, well, the thing is, uh, today um, oh, in the U.S. it's uh, Candy Cane Day instead of Boxing Day. They don't call it Candy Cane Day. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember what country that calls it since Stevens Day as okay, well. So where they give you that the umbrella cane. looking thing. What? They give you candy cane? Yes, they give you, okay. yeah. Uh, St. Stephen's Day in another country. And um, South Africans call today, um, now why did that skip me? <laughs> but it's actually not called Boxing, Boxing Day. Day. Oh, okay. Day of Goodwill. 
Yes. Day of Goodwill, Today I like that. Today is Day of Goodwill in South Africa. And then today is also Thank You Day. Thank, thank you, you Note. Day. So yeah. as you are, all, you know, unwrapping your presents, remember to send to say thanks thank you. to everyone. I like, I like the presents. Goodwill one. Yeah. But speaking like about, peace on earth, but like in me. Nigeria now, it's Boxing Day, but how many families actually practice Boxing Day? Given and receiving, giving and presents. receiving presents. Because I don't think... A lot of no, I think that's changing actually because I've seen a lot of you know sharing mm. you know this Christmas season. I mean, I said I've been getting so many presents. I mean, even yesterday, someone sent me two boxes of, of apple tarts, mm. you know. Mm. So I've just been see every single day, someone sends me something, and like this I is the first Christmas I'm actually <laughs> really getting growing, growing you know, up. Stop, growing stop. up, if you're wearing a full Christmas outfit with shoes, mm. that is your Christmas present. <laughs> Indeed, so, though. I think we should bring you on that tradition. Yeah, yeah, After buying the, the clothes, you only buy gifts. I don't have that watch ah, or fit. Uh, okay, that is exactly. Uh, I don't have that watch. I don't have that watch. Watch or glass. You know, say last year I had watch. I give me glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or those shoes that have lights uh, and music. And that's what the big boys do. Ah, these are shoes that have lights. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this not my shoe. <laughs> uh, you know, it <laughs> would be a fantastic time to thank everyone who has been watching Wake Up Nigeria all year oh, long. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for always watching. Ah, uh, amazing folks. I think if there's anyone I actually want to say a big thank you to, <clears throat> to you, you, Mary. I want to say a big wow. thank you to you. I You've been an excellent movie. friend. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Actually. Tissue, oh. tissues, tissues. <laughs> I'm gonna do your clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. so sweet. Thank you. Let's uh, Thank take a look you. at today's weather once again. It's not, you know, always check out the weather. I got the dust this time, man. But it seems like Kamatan. <laughs> you have to come at Matan. Like the border closure affected your Matan. It does rain today. Can I please? You know, the border rain closure rain affected your Matan. But let's let's. Uh, <laughs> Let's let's uh, let's take a look at this. I'm not feeling it. It's your blur. It's flashing us. My time is flashing us. Let's take a look at the day's weather. <laughs> Welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. Guess what, people? You are about to see amazing fine art like you've never seen before. And we have Baba Lola Oluwafemi, who is a fine artist who runs the Art Amazing Studios, which offers a range of service from murals to gravity to illustrations. He's also a renowned body artist who plays with lines and African motifs to create beautiful patterns on the human body. Hello. Yeah, good morning. How are you doing? Doing great. Okay, so first of all, I like your style. You just <laughs> came in with some, I mean like some Wakanda inspired hairstyle. Like I'm so feeling your look this morning. Okay, thank you very much. All right, fantastic stuff. So tell me about what you do. Fine art. Hmm. Yes. I mean, your line of arts is quite different okay tell yeah. me the inspiration behind it i mean like how it all began oh okay um i studied fine arts in medibello university with specialty in art history okay so um i kind of had this love for african art but i didn't know i was going to take it up professionally Seriously. so after my nyc i started doing makeup but it just got boring at one point oh. and plus yeah so you can make up yeah sure are you serious Perfectly. tell me is my highlight <laughs> cool <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. Okay. So um, I was still in Zaria at that point, but, you know, due to the whole religious beliefs. Oh. So I wasn't really able to, you know, walk, walk on. In. Okay. Yeah. So I had to just relocate to Abuja where I could, you know, do other forms of art and, you know, market to other more. And how's that been? Yeah, awesome. Like, it's been Are you awesome serious? so far. Yeah. Because I'm very curious about the, you know, response, you know, from, you know, people, how lucrative it is. 
yeah, to be an artist, I mean, what you do? Yeah, it's actually very, very lucrative. But, you know, art is an evolving field. So in order to market to people, um, you need to, you know, do what they've not seen before. So okay. I had to, you know, urbanize my art because body art has been in existence it's existed for, for a long yeah, time. So I just had to add sure. that urban touch, you know, and market to, you know, younger audience. Audiences. Yeah, so I All tend right. to go more for um, festivals, concerts, video shoots and mm. the like. So yeah, just Great. to put it out there. You'll be creating some ads on my body. Today, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see. I was pretty nervous at first. Yeah, sure. Yeah, always are at first. So, so okay. When done, you're definitely going to like it. Okay. So, what for every before you? Okay, I'm a customer now, yes. and I'd like some ads on my body, and I have no idea. How do you come up? You know, with ideas like, you know, from your creative thinking. Yeah. How do you come up with ideas on what to, you know? design on your client's body oh, okay i just ask you for a theme if we're working with the theme maybe okay. if it's bridal inspired if it's um for school if it's for so you just tell me what you want or you could just tell me about yourself and i just try and you know okay i'm a very peaceful person and i'd like you to create <laughs> a really peaceful <laughs> looking uh, at work on my body okay Okay, um, so what do you use? First of all, let's talk about, you know, your materials, oh, what you use to create. Okay, um, when I started off, I was using basic um, um, poster color, oh. but it wasn't what was right because mm. it cracks and it yeah. didn't really look good. Mm. So um, I had to like find a connect on Instagram and they hooked me up with this. So I actually get the supplies from Brazil. So they are oh, acrylic pump you're markers. You're joking. Yeah. Wow, you you have a very high taste. You said from Brazil. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Um, these are the most suitable um, materials for body art, and they're safe. They're safe. So, yeah, Interesting. So I have nothing to worry about. It's not no, harmful at all. No, it's completely, it's completely you know, safe. safe for my skin. Yeah, Fine. Sure. So what are we creating today? Um, we're just going to because I call my style the art of lines. So we're just going to art of lines. Yeah. So okay. we're just playing with lines to create patterns and okay. designs on okay. your body. So um, how long is this going to take? Depends on how much you want it. But since it's just for this, we're just going to you know, just do something simple. Okay. I'm um, pretty excited. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, talking about inspirations, what inspires you? You know, to create different body arts. Oh, first of all, the nature. Nature. Yeah. Mm, okay. Then lots of African stories, like what's happening around us. Okay. The economy. The economy inspires you. Yeah. That's an interesting one. Yeah. The economy <laughs> okay. inspires you a lot because when there's no money in your pocket, mm. it definitely drives your creative thinking. So. Okay. That too. Uh, and just basic everything around me that inspires me. Let's talk about the challenges that you face as an artist, because I know that it, it should be challenging a bit. Tell me about it. Um, it's challenging, but uh, I just believe though you just have to just keep doing it, and with time, everything falls in fall place. Fall into place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I mean, we live in an emerging world. Things are yeah. evolving all the time. Sure. So it, it, you know, in. At first, people may not exactly, you know, connect or relate with what you do, but eventually yes. they do. Like, oh, sure. I like this, I like this, I like this. Interesting. So let's talk about bridal because that actually got my attention. I mean, oh, a lot okay. of women like <laughs> yes, sure, bridals, you know, stuff. So, um, what kind of bridal arts do you do? Do you need me to? Show no, no, no. Okay. Sure. No, it's good. What kind of bridal arts do you do? Do you oh. do? Yes. Yeah, we could come up with um, a bridal package for maybe a bridal train, maybe for um, souvenirs for your bridal attendees, those who come for your wedding. So we just come up with customized gifts. where um, you on, your, on shirts? Or? Shirts, okay. books, jotters, pen. Oh, okay. So it kind of gives that personalized feel to gifts. And so if you're just giving gifts that, you know, it's general for everybody, okay. you get to come up with gifts, you get to give everyone. everyone. So it's kind of oh. like personal. And, uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Great. So what's your name? M.M. So what are you? Oh, you're, oh, I told you, peace. Yeah, no so my problem. name actually means peace. That's why yeah. I said I wanted That's something. That's um, double M. Yes. Something peaceful okay. with my hand. So what's this you're creating oh. or you're painting? Okay. So all these patterns are um, inspired from the African calabash. Like, I don't know if you know those African calabash. calabash. Like, those oh. calabash designs, those patterns on them. So okay. I just picked them and added those urban fields to them. 
Okay. So, so if someone wanted to learn this, how long does it take? <laughs> Actually, I have not thought about the training part. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's art, and it all depends on the person's interest. Interest. Mm. So it's not something... And it has to come from within. Yeah, it has to come from within. Okay. Interesting. All right, guys. This is amazing. So you call this um, um, a mural? No, no, no. Or just a, a body art? Murals are paintings we do on walls, so this is just body art. Body arts, art. Oh, yeah. okay. Body art, and we're playing with lines. I'd like everyone to catch a bit, the name. catch, you know, what you're doing. You could uh, just... This way? Yeah, I put it this, this way? way. Yeah. This way? Thank you. Thank you. This way? Yeah. Okay. So you can see your name in there. Okay, I'm yet to figure out where my name is. <laughs> Where's that? Okay. Where is it? Oh, I can see it. Oh, I can see it. Oh, I actually did. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, wow. This is interesting. This is amazing. I've never done body arts before. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's just, just put that personal feel. You know, you can see that expression on your yes. face when you lit up. So you it's know, just that. So just telling different stories. The mm. more it goes, the more. You know, the more interesting yeah, it is. It, yeah. Wow. Wow. We should have, you know, a Wakanda you know, themed movie. I'm sure they've had stuff like that where yeah, they had sure, to invite you sure, to, you sure. know, do For stuff the like that. For screening in Abuja, I was there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so and then you body created arts. body yeah, art. Yeah, body oh, arts okay. and the face and the arm. Oh, nice. Did. Thank you so much, Oluwa Femi. This welcome. is amazing. I'm not going to take it off, even though I know that once you wash it off, it just goes <laughs> off. Thank you so much. Oh, this is interesting. All right, there's still so much more on the show. People, don't go anywhere. Hey. Did you just feel that glory? <laughs> Thank you so much. We have the Haviland. No, you said it's not choir, so uh, it's the Haviland, Haviland family, family choral. choral. That was beautiful. You have no idea what is coming right after I run away from here. Thank you so much, Mike Bakari. Now, tell us what inspired you coming up with the Haviland family choral. Uh, you know, we love to do conscious music. Yeah. Uh, music of the mind. Okay. Uh, music that is spiritual and religious. Okay. We want to make a statement of excellence. Okay. With our music. You definitely are. <laughs> Something that will remain evergreen forever. Okay. So that is our benchmark. Okay. So how long have you been together? For almost ten years. Ten years. How has the journey been? Sustenance, financial? How has it been? In Christ alone. Oh. That's okay, so do you work, do you operate in a church or are you just a, um, a, a singular entity? We are single entity. Oh, okay. No support from anybody except from God. And of course, my brothers and sisters here. Hello, uh, brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> so we've uh, been working together as family, like the name is uh, Haviland. Haviland Family Cora. Okay. So when there is food, we laugh. <laughs> when there's no food. Are we food, laughing? Are we laughing? Are we laughing? <laughs> Laugh, okay, so what are we singing this morning? Uh, this morning we'll be doing uh, your currency as composed and arranged by me. Ooh, so you're a composer and you have been managing. This is powerful. So that the viewers will not say, what's talk by doing here? I'm going to leave so you blow us away with these amazing sounds. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. <laughs>
thank you for staying with us. Now, earlier on, you watched and enjoyed his performance right here with me to have um, a nice chat. He's one of um, Nigeria's fastest rising gospel artists and performer. He's not just an artist, this is a full performer. It's not something that you get to see every day. KMK is in the house. How are you doing, KMK? It's great uh, to have you. You are welcome. And that was a wonderful much. performance, and that is where I want to start from. Performance, the performance arts as a gospel artist. That is something that a number of people don't really, um, they associate gospel music with being spiritual and solemn and all of that. But you do your best. I mean, I can see influences from maybe Michael Jackson moves there. I can see some African influence moves and all of that. What is the inspiration behind putting all of this together into your sort of performance? Well, basically... I was born this way, I could make people watch me. So and I knew that if I needed to gather crowd for Jesus, there are people that already just, like just like when you're coming with a briefcase and an umbrella, people just sometimes, people just they say, oh, that's Jehovah's Witness, let's just run. <laughs> you know? So, but if I was coming on dreadlocks and there are some people that will easily just accept me before we can start the conversation it's because conversation. preaching the gospel is about conversation. So okay. if I would want to reach to a particular audience. Okay. There is an attraction. Okay. So for me, this is all a means to an end, and I do it the best way because if I'm going to reach the audience I need to reach, I need to compete with the best out there. Wonderful. So it, it, from what I get now, you're saying that it doesn't have to be excellence in performance. It doesn't have to, have to be tied to maybe secular artists, whether it's secular or gospel. No. The point is that you, whatever you're going out there, you should drop it all on... on, 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 on Excellence is God-made. Excellence mm. is God-made. God's children should be excellent in what they do. They should put in work. Mm. I know a lot of gospel artists, um, they tend to, in court, use grace to cover up for laziness. Mm. It happens. It, it happens a lot. Not just gospel artists, yeah. but a lot of people with their lives. We use grace to cover up for laziness and corruption, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I used to be just a dancer. Okay. And at the time I was going to go into music, I put in work personally. Okay. I learned some instruments. I did a lot of rehearsals. I started shouting in the bedroom. Yeah. You know, I learned how to play the guitar. I learned how to play the keyboard. No, because I know that I must put in work in this thing I'm going to. How much does knowing an instrument help an artist when it comes to musical composition? Wow, like for the acoustic guitar, it helps you like, it's like night and day. Mm. You get to understand notes and you get to be able to hold your notes. You get to be able to, this is so, when you know how to play an instrument as, a, as an artist, it mm. takes you to a whole new level, mm. especially with writing songs. Okay. You know, a lot of people have the thing of, when I write my songs, I forget them. If you actually play an instrument, you most likely won't forget the song. Whoa, now that's, 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 that's something you probably should take to the bank. If you play an instrument, you will most likely not forget, forget that song. song. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Now, um, let's, let, let's talk about uh, your, uh, you have, uh, how many singles do you have out there now? Well, originally out there, I have like three singles. Three singles. Yeah. Is there any plan for an album anytime soon? Yes, in 2020. Hmm. What are, what, what, are we, what are we to expect? What is that body of work? What, what, when are we going to see um, maybe the diverse parts of KMK? What do we expect well, if KM, an album KM, or when an album KMK comes KMK means out? king of many colors. Mm, wonderful. And that is, there is so much to me. Plenty, okay. plenty. I'm, I'm still investigating. I'm still searching. I'm still digging out. And in the album, we expect to see I Life, expect to yeah, yeah we felt as my life in your medley just as now. long as you are going to hear music as long as this particular kind of music some people hear it i can go as far as doing yodeling mm. if, if i know it's really it takes. yes if that's what I it would, takes i would rap i would but you hear all the music that you want to hear wonderful well, so um from uh, this way it seems that you're somebody who was um, there's a lot of musical artists or great people that have affected your style of music, your icons and all that. Can we talk about that? Who, which people have affected you musically when it comes to performance, arts, and also um, as a singer? Well, as a singer, king of pop, definitely. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, Michael Jackson. Yeah. As a singer, a lot of Bruno Mars. Mm. Mm, wonderful, As a wonderful. singer, if there's somebody I would listen to musically, to musically. Bruno Mars. Now, that, that's the point, talent. Let's talk about talent and um, the gospel because uh, it, it, we, we see a number of people and it happens quite a lot, you understand? If you feel like, okay, if I just, I think I can't sing and uh, with the grace of God and all that following me, let me just go about there. But you see, 
you really do need to have a talent. You, or you, like you said, you said something about putting in the work. work. How important is that? Not just sitting down to rely on whatever. How important yeah. is putting in the work and the talent in itself? Well, because there's some people that you see singing, I'm telling them, are you sure this uh, singing or dancing thing is for you? I, I don't think, yes, seriously, we should tell somebody in a, the truth. In, in a ministry that I'm from, mm. in Christ Embassy, when you go for, probably there's a program I go for auditions, you will understand that at, that at the level that we are, we are not looking for people that can sing anymore. Mm. We are looking for people that are exceptional. Mm. I like that. So when you go to the auditions, you see like 1,000 people, good singers. People come and sing, glory be to God. You, your title of your song is Awesome God. You see like 41 people, Awesome God, Awesome God, Awesome God. And they have good music. Okay. But at the point, you need to be exceptional. That is Excellent. what you are looking out for. Yes. So Excellent. that is the, um, a lot of people now, a lot of mediocrity and put it, I'm, I'm working and developing. Sometimes I do a song like five times, different producers. Hmm. Trying to get that best, yes, best thing so out. Do wonderful. this, this way, and I'm hearing it another way at some point in time. And, you know, but we, the thing about life is this, even the devil does not use lazy people. That's very true. Even the devil doesn't use lazy so people. So, man, you are just, you are just there in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's the second punchline he has dropped here this morning. Even the devil doesn't use lazy people. So, if you're lazy, uh, there's yeah. going to be a problem. All right, wonderful. So, KMK, um, how do people hit you up on social media to keep up to date with what you're doing? How do they get the latest from you? Social media handles and all of that. Um, at Legendary KMK on Instagram. Okay. Legendary KMK on Twitter. Mm. Legendary KMK on King's Chat. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. And here's wishing you the best. See you at the top, man. All right, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. We still have a whole lot more in the show. Uh, we'll just take this break now. We have some choirs who will be singing for us. Don't go nowhere. Family Choral. I am sure you loved the intro as much as I did. We have with us here Mike Bakare, who's going to tell us a bit about Haviland Family Choral. Uh, um, Haviland Family Choral, as the name implies, family. Yeah. We are one big family. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> from different states in Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, and we thank God that God has been faithful. Yes. Uh, when there is food, we laugh. <laughs> When there is no food, we, ah, we still no. laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a one big family. Okay. A musical family. And you've been together for ten years. Almost. How has that journey been? Almost ten uh, years. You know, it's, 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 everything is in Christ alone. It's not been easy. Yes. But we uh, we we are grateful for what God has done. No sponsor. But oh, wow. we know God has always been there. Yeah. So that's it. So what are we performing this morning? Uh, this morning uh, we'll be doing Ayokeresi as composed and arranged by me. By you? Ayokeresi okay. meaning Ayokeresi. the joy of Christmas. Of Christmas. Okay, yes. you know what? Before mm. the audience will come out and say, Tokwa, please leave us. Okay. I'm going to let you blow us away as okay. we enjoy the joy of Christmas. 
Thank you. Very nice. Well done, guys. 
Absolutely awesome. Uh, it's been a great day. It's been a great show. We'd like to say a big thank you to Homely NG for the kitchen accessories as usual. Yes, to everyone who has been a part of the show today. Thank you so much for your time. As usual, I'm going to be expecting my gifts from you guys. Uh, mm. Right after the show. The <laughs> gifts you collected yesterday of the world. How many gifts do you want in a year? Because well, today's Boxing it's Day, you boxing want to wrap something so, else. Yeah. Anyway. So it's been a great show. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, the 27th That's right. of December. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. 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 <laughs>